Now, in the Melbourne music scene, there's a lot of acts out there, but one act stands above they are the dance music, Mighty Nights. See, I've got my hand in the air there. They're slashing in front of them. They're burning off as they go, and they're salting the earth behind them. It's a double drop, and we're lucky to have Birthday Boy, uh, Guy, here. How are you, Guy? Good, thanks, Dan. How are you? Yeah, it has been your birthday, right? It was yesterday, yes. Mine was on Monday. Well, mate. Decades apart. Decades apart. (laughs) <laughs> but anyway, never mind. Um, back to you is a, is the latest uh, single. Uh, we love it. A lot of people are vibing on it instantaneously. Are you happy with how things are going for you, chaps? Amazingly chaffed with it. Um, yeah, we're having a, having a great time making music, but uh, you know, it's it's a, it makes it even greater when it, it gets received so positively, and so many people are getting around it and 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 having fun listening to it. So yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, having uh, yeah, we're, we're going uh, going really well. You better drop uh, the name of your co-conspirator right in here, uh, Jeremy. Who oh, unfortunately, cool. uh, could, couldn't be on the call uh, today. He's uh, he's uh, stuck at work, but uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're we're a job one half of. We'll meet him another day. Um, some really cool, some really cool uh, samples on on this song. Is there a story behind them? Where'd you source them from? Um, we were going through some uh, just some sample packs um, that uh, that Jeremy dug up, and we were sitting there in the studio, you know, flicking through stuff, and and there were actually a lot of gospel samples there, and we just chopped around with a few things, and uh, it just sort of came together, just mucking around with bits and bobs, but. Uh, but yeah, um, you know, and we sort of started to go down the direction of you know what you know we're we're, we're both uh, you know fans of Kanye West production, um, you know, in a hip hop sense, obviously. But um, you know what would Kanye do if he was going to make a French house record? So we kind of went down that route, and uh, and and what you hear is uh, what what we kind of thought might be the case. But um, but yeah, definitely it's definitely something that's we feel is a little bit out of the box, but we're definitely sticking to our roots there. Um, you know, with uh, with our filter house kind of French house uh, um, vibe that we uh, that we love so much. So, um, so yeah. And um, how long did that one take to come together? Um, good question. Actually, um, we sort of working uh, you know, on multiple things at once. I guess so. Um, but I guess uh, we started that one. Uh, maybe November last year, sort of coming out of lockdown in Melbourne. Um, and we were tinkering, tinkering away with it uh, for a little bit. And I think we played the first uh, demo incarnation um, of it out probably sort of around Christmas time, maybe a little bit earlier. So, yeah, so it was probably, yeah, maybe about a, a, a month on and off amongst a whole heap of other things that we're sure. working on. So, yeah. How many uh, gigs have you been able to get out and do? Not a lot yet, unfortunately. Um, it seems that uh, um, uh, timing is everything, and uh, and we we keep dropping singles when uh, when COVID decides to uh, you know rear its ugly head and put us in lockdown. So um, but, no dancing uh, for dance music play... is hard, right? No dancing for dance music well, is a that's tricky the thing. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely a hard one. Um. um we put, the last gig we played, uh, yeah, big gig we played was um, on Boxing Day um, at uh, at our favourite uh, place in Melbourne, Porn and Co. Um, and uh, and yes, yeah, so, but we've got uh, we've got a few shows lined up um, in the coming weeks. We're we're up in Sydney in a couple of weeks um, for a uh, for a showcase uh, event, uh, which we're headlining. Uh, at the Factory Theatre Courtyard on the 13th of March. Um, so that'll be really cool to get up there um, and, uh, and see all, uh, all the friendly faces up there that we, uh, we've been talking to. So, yeah, it's, uh, and, and there's a lot more coming through now. We're, we're able to move around a bit more and, uh, and, and, uh, and pack out dance floors. We'd be really, uh, so we're really excited to, you know, be playing all our tracks to everyone and, um, and, get, and getting those, uh, those reactions on the dance floor. Do you think there's a good appetite for you guys out there? You know, you're hearing, getting some good messages through, like, come and see us here, come and see us there. 
we're definitely getting uh, uh, the random DMs on Instagram mm. um, coming through from people when they when they discover our music, um, which is really uh, it's really humbling that uh, you know people go out of their way to to send nice uh, words um, about our stuff. Um, you know, especially we're just you know uh, this this project came out of you know I guess a, a you know a little bit of um, boredom to a certain degree and sort of came together as as something we were having too much fun doing and and now. We're in a position where three singles deep, and uh, and and you know we've starting to garner a bit of a fan base, which is really exciting. Um, so yeah, we just uh, if if people keep loving uh, what we're doing, um, we'll keep doing it. And have you known Jeremy a good long time or a short, fantastic time? <laughs> yeah, Jeremy and I have known each other for uh, yeah quite a few years now. Um, Jeremy's originally from um, from up north in the Gold Coast. Um, and uh, he moved down to Melbourne uh, many years ago, and we—I uh, was, uh, you know, uh, running, uh, uh, you know, label and uh, and doing, you know, uh, he was doing some cool music uh, under um, another project he used to do, and we we sort of came together then um, and just kindled a friendship uh, through being uh, massive fanboys of, uh, of, of, you know, French house and, and, and I guess French you know, dance music uh, in general. Um, and from there, um, you know, it's uh, <laughs> many parties and, uh, you know, uh, nights out and, and, and stuff and, and, you know, took going through COVID, you know, and talking a lot and then coming out of that, you know, and deciding that we maybe we should start making some music together for, for a bit of fun. And yeah, here we are. So, yeah, it's all, uh, it's all been a bit of history uh, coming together, but, yeah. Absolutely cool. What do each of you uh, bring to the project, the same sort of stuff or different? Um, a bit of the same and a bit of different. Uh, it's, I guess uh, we've, we've both got our, uh, our individual um, tastes. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, um, you know, coming from a bit, uh, a bit more of a, uh, a background of being a hip-hop fan. Um, yeah, I guess we're both into hip hop, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, you know, more so on that end. And, and Jeremy's definitely, um, you know, a, uh, you know, an avid, uh, you know, uh, you know, production studio guy. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so we, we definitely, uh, you know, bring, uh, bring our different, uh, you know, tastes and talents to the table in this project. But I, I think, um, it's definitely the, the you know the coming putting our heads together in the studio and you know, and uh, you know and coming up with some uh, some some different you know weird wonderful and exciting sounds and and uh, samples and stuff that we're we're working with that uh, is is where the magic happens I guess. So many collabs at the moment, <clears throat> featureings, like um, yeah. with your with your background in in more. Uh, you know, vocal stuff or, you know, hip hop and stuff like that. Is that something you're looking at or are you just treading water at the moment? Um, yeah, no, we, we actually are currently working on a couple of, uh, on a couple of demos, uh, which are uh, collaborations. Um, <laughs> I guess yeah, the thing. So, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, there's, there's a couple of things at the moment, uh, mainly with collaborating with vocalists. Um, yeah, we wanted to wanted to start moving into doing some more um, original vocals and, uh, and and stuff like that. So um, yeah, and and on top of that, we're we're definitely open to working with uh, you know like minded creatives that, uh, that 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 want to uh, you know get around what we're doing and that we uh, we also get around what they're doing. That you know that's something we definitely have um, we're open to. So so yeah, anyone listening to this, if you uh, if you like what we do and you want to collaborate, hit us up on the DM. Like my old mate from three days ago I met, friendless. <laughs> ah, indeed, yes. He's a good friend of ours. Uh, Lay Low was the uh, track you uh, not worked with him, I guess, separately from him. It was his track, right? <laughs> yeah, we remixed that one um, around, I, was, I think, around the middle of last year. Yeah, um, yeah that was uh, that was good fun. Um, yeah, we're good mates with, uh, with Friendless, so um, and we loved uh, that record right off the bat. Um, it's an amazing vocal, um, and uh, and we thought, yep, we can put our uh, put our own little touch on this, and uh, and it, it goes down a treat in our sets. So uh, yeah, I guess this song's available wherever you get songs, right? 
everywhere where good music is available, as they say. <laughs> as they used to say. And uh, here on Slice Radio, we've been playing it like crazy as soon as we became aware of you guys. We got right in behind you. Mate. We love Aussie dance. We love having fun. And, you know, it's good music. So play it to death, we reckon. Thank you so much, Dan. We really appreciate it. No worries at all. Something next is you've got the gig in Sydney coming up at the uh, factory. Give me the other word. Factory Theatre Courthouse. That's right. They do loads of good stuff there. I'm constantly seeing their posts come up. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, well, more more songs, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's worry about this song first. It's fantastic. (laughs) Well, say good day to Jeremy for me. And, uh, you know, we hope to talk to you again about the next uh, single and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to whatever you guys are going to do next. Long may you reign. (laughs) Can't wait to talk to you again. Yeah, thank you so much, Dan. We really appreciate all the support. It was great to uh, be on the show.